Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of real world number pairs. This is standard 3.5e in the great state of Texas. We are using number 40 of the 2016 release star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got a table here and it's got three columns, but this first column isn't really that important. It just gives you the, uh, the fact that there are four different vases. The, the vase letters are Q, R, S, and T, but we don't really need that. Really what we're looking at is the relationship here between our yellow and our red flowers. So let's look side to side here. And I'm just gonna kind of rewrite these. We have a little bit more room. So we've got nine, 15, 21, and 27. So I'm going to look uh, side to side between the two different colors here. And so I'm going to go from 9 to 3, from 15 to 5, 21 to 7, and 27 to 9. So if I'm going this way here, my numbers are getting smaller. So when my numbers are getting smaller, I've got two options. I can either subtract or I can divide. And really what I'm looking for is I'm looking for the rule. Think of this as an input-output table. Once I get that rule here, that will let me know what I can do to the left side, the yellow side, to get to the right side. So if I wanted to subtract, let's try this. Well, 9 minus 6 this is where we have to know our facts. 9 minus 6 makes 3. 15 uh, minus 6, no, that's not going to work. That gets me 9, so I'm going to have to do minus 10. Uh, 21 minus 6, now that gets me 15. 21 minus 10, that's going to get me 11. So actually it's 14, and I'm just going to go ahead and stop because I'm not finding the same rule. It changes from 6 to 10 and all the way down to 14. So that means most likely it's not going to be subtraction. Let's look at division. That's another way that we can make our numbers smaller. So 9 divided by something equals 3. If you don't know your division facts, let's just turn it into a multiplication problem. We're going to take our quotient and our divisor. We're going to multiply the two to get into our dividend here. So 3 times something is going to make 9. 3 sets of, and this is where we probably get it, ah, yeah, 3. So 3 sets of 3. 9 divided by 3 makes 3. So let's see what happens if I divide by 3. So 15 divided by 3. Is that going to make 5? Yes, it does. 21 divided by 3. Does that make 7? Yes. And 27 divided by 3. Does that make 9? Yes, it does. So here's my rule. We're going to divide by 3. So let's take a look at our answers. Now we know we have to take our left side, the yellow side, and we're going to just, I'm going to put a big divide by three here. It's going to stand for all four of those. But if you look, look at all of our selections here. We're actually not looking at division. We're actually going to use the inverse operation like we did before. Division and multiplication are inverse operations. So let's see if we can look at these answer selections here. There are three times, and that's going to be a multiplication, as many yellow flowers as red. So let me see if I can write what this says. Three times as many yellow flowers as red. So the yellow is three times the red. That's what it says. Three times as many yellow, so three times as many yellow as red. Well, that actually looks like it might work. Let's make sure it works down here. Equals, let's see, three times, yes. So there are three times as many yellow as red. So this is just another way to look at what we did over here. Let's divide by three. This works. Uh, there are nine times as many yellow. Now, you can't, um, you're not going to be able to use any of these other ones. Nine times, six times. 11 times. Now the only one that works is this three times, so our answer is going to be F.